and welcome to the Power Pop Vlogs. So today, isn't it strange that we're speaking English? Bukina ko mo talaga English talaga. Only we have here four calamansi, four calamansi, and we're gonna do the. English only challenge. Anyone who speaks in Tagalog is going to see this calamansi and we will see their reactions. So today we were explaining uh, our we explain about our lesson about forces discovery and about magnetic force and electromagnetism. Yes. yes. So Hillary and Lila, take it away. We're moving on to Lila's. We're moving on to Lila and Hillary's explanation. Here's a quick history of Hans Orsted. Hans Christian Orsted was a Danish physicist and chemist who discovered that electric current create magnetic fields, which was the first connection found between electricity and magnetism. Orsted's law and the Orsted was named after him. So, hi! <laughs> I'm hi! Hi! Layla. So, today we'll be discussing about the discovery of electromagnetism. experiment showing that electricity and magnetism are linked took place during a lecture on April 12, 1820 when Arsted was 40 years old. In the experiment, he passed electric current through a wire. That is the wire. This is the wire. Which caused a nearby mag magnetic compass needle to move on. Here are some snippets from our activity last last week. Oh, hello, Yan. And over the next few months, Arsted carries out more experiments about electromagnetism. Produces a circular magnetic effect around it. So he discovered that there's something happening around oh, yeah. well, in short <laughs> he made an important discovery that electric current creates a magnetic field you just imagine that this this one is connected to a power source yes to a power source and this is the positive one and this is the negative one and to know the direction of the magnetic field we will be using the... The right hand rule. <laughs> it's also yeah. a right hand rule in, in magnetic force, but that would be discussed by both Karel and Pauline later. So the right hand rule would be uh, creating a fist it from uh, in your right hand and then the thumb would be the direction in which the current flows. the current flows so that means positive to negative and then first would be uh, whichever direction the magnetic field moves so for example here if you it's like a thumbs up so if you're doing a thumbs up and the the wire would be straight up the, f the flow would be from bot uh, bottom to top, which means that uh, this is the positive. Yeah, the positive, and, and then, then the negative. Yeah. And then, just from your your other fingers, from your four other fingers, you can tell in which direction it spins. From bottom to top, the direction would be counterclockwise, and if it's the other direction top to bottom, the direction of the magnetic field would be clockwise. So 
the magnetic field of a long straight current carrying um, wire is would be stronger when it is closer to the wire or when a larger current flows to the wire. So next setup would be the solenoid. Oh, the, the solenoid yeah. is the one that is. Here are some clips of the solenoid activity. It's coiled around the core. circuit breaker is a safety device that switches off the electric supply when excessive current flows through the circuit. It uses an electromagnet to open the circuit. Electricity magnetizes the electromagnet and when the current jumps on safe levels, the electromagnet is strong enough to pull down a metal lever connected to the switch linkage. Then. The electricity shuts off. And then another one would be electric bell. Yeah, an electric bell, like those in school. That's all. And we'll be moving to the next topic about magnetic force, force, which would be tackled by tackled by Pauline and Karen. Yeah. So thank you guys. Thank you. So thank you, Hilary and Lila, for that explanation. So now, moving on, Karel, are you ready for the English only? Yes. 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 We can do this. The dog. The dog is barking. The dog is barking. Um, we are asking for your. Uh, no. I. One word. One word. <laughs> so moving on to the main reason why we are here is because after after our lesson regarding our stance model we discussed about magnetic force so last week we conducted an experiment so here are some clips of the experiment now what you see had this set up and the parts of this um, first is the power source next is the permanent magnet and the current carrying conductor so to further explain we should first know what is magnetic force so girl what is magnetic force magnetic force is the interaction between two magnetic fields so we can notice from the setup that we have a permanent magnet and we have a current carrying conduct conductor meaning that there are two magnetic fields present within the setup a magnetic field coming from the permanent magnet and a magnetic field coming from the current carrying conductor throughout the experiment we learned that 
in order to make the magnetic force stronger, you have to do three things. It is to increase the amount of current, increase the length of the current carrying conductor within the magnetic field, and use a stronger magnet. Next is, in order to change the direction of the magnetic field, we have two ways. First is change the direction of the current, okay. and second is the direction of the magnetic field coming from the permanent magnet. Mom got us the right hand rule. Hand rule. This is your thumb represents the direction of current. This part is the representation of the magnetic field, and hmm. your palm. Your palm. Um, represents. represents the magnetic force. Different applications of magnetic force can be seen. It can be seen in some appliances just like the photocopier we use in school and a hand mixer we use in the kitchen. I, we hope that you guys learned something from our vlog today, even though it's so hard to speak in English. Yes. And I've seen many. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so many calamansi. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. Bye, Mom. We love you.